Oh, hey there. What up, friends? It's me, your boy in blue. A woolly... Hoo-hoo. That's right, yeah. We're doing some demo night today. People thought it would be a bit of fun. We did a demo man video, however, I have stated that I feel like demo man and demo night are two basically completely different classes. So with that being said, we're gonna try and get a commentary with, like, most of the generic demo night loadouts. Have a bit of fun. Switched off all the unusual hats and stuff. We've got a nice themed loadout today. Look at this. Look at this. Woolen crafted shirt. Woolen crafted shoes. And then the... It's actually like a really cool hat. I really like it. It looks like a bit like a dustbin with a visor on it, but we'll we'll forget that. Don't tell the demo man. He actually really likes this hat. But yeah, I'll see you on the pub. All right then. Yeah. Hello. Welcome back. We're playing a nice bit of demo night today, and we're going to be starting off with what I consider to be my favorite demo man loadout, pretty much. Just to begin with, like, I used to play a lot of Demo Knight back in the day. There used to be a thing you could have kind of abused with Joy 2 Key. So you had infinite turning, basically. It was really good and really broken, but it was fun as hell, as this pyro is well aware. Basically, you ran around with the lock and load, or the stock, the charge and charge, and the Islander. You'd get a ridiculous amount of speed from the Islander. You basically had a dead ringer with constant resistance in the shield. And then you also had the lock and load, which was broken as shite at the time. Oh, the the stock, if you didn't hate everyone. But yeah, we're doing a better variant of that now that the lock and load's kind of bad. Um, I'd either rather the stock or the iron bomber. And personally, I'm going to be running the iron bomber in the hopes that I can actually properly do some grenade jumps with it. If I do any good, I should just be able to, like, shove one of these on the ground and then surf off of it, which I'm looking forward to. I would like a small buff, though, to hopefully counteract the 150. Like, don't crits me, but just... I don't... Um, hmm. Perhaps this is what voice was made for. So yeah. A good start is that um, Demonite isn't really the best class to Uber. Although saying that, I was gonna say Demonite's maybe not the best class to crit, so we did just get like five kills and two heads, so not too bad off the start. So yeah, of course, the main downside to Demonite, holy shit, it started snowing outside. What the hell? Okay. Yeah, I just stared out my window and it's just started snowing. Um, it's not, <laughs> it's not, it's, um, it's nearly, nearly spring. England, are you feeling okay? Well, you know that out of the way, yeah. Demo Knight, the downside at the start is that you have no sticky bombs normally if you're running the shield, which you should be if you're playing Demo Knight. And the sticky bombs are humongous. They're really easy, good damage. They area denial. They give you speed and mobility with jumping. And most importantly, if you're using the Islander, you have less max HP, which it may not seem like much, but 150 is enough to be one shot by bad pub snipers who go for body shots, or good prem snipers who go for body shots. There's a big, very, very big difference, as I'm sure you're aware. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. We managed to completely counteract that by getting an overheal, which I'm happy with, and spam it. It's actually, it's, it is absolutely shitting itself out there. What on earth? It, 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 genuinely, if any, none of you live in England, some of you might actually, like 20% of you do, will come to YouTube, but it just it looks like a snowblower. It's just gone outside. It actually looks like a movie. That's really cool, but also horrible, because I've got to stand out in the snow for a lot to, you know, get the bus. Okay. Well, anyway, yeah. This, this whole snow thing out of the way, we're doing pretty good so far. I really like the Iron Bomber. I genuinely do feel like it's a bit easier just for me to aim. I know the actual difference between the stock and the Iron Bomber is very negligible. I think I'd mentioned it in the Demo, Knight, the Demo Man video, but... Because these are round, they're a little bit more consistent in their flight path. And because the normal grenades are kind of more... I don't know, like, oblongular. I don't know what you'd call that. A little bit more squished. They travel a little bit more wonkily, but really it's not that big of a deal. I just feel like they're a bit easier to aim just because someone once told me they were. And that's stuck in my head, so as a result, I'm like, yeah, this is the easy to aim one. Rather than that genuinely being a, a point to make, a little invisible thing there. But yeah, pipes I used to be pretty good with. Like, I've always been kind of shite with stickies as a result of me pretty much only ever playing Demo Knight. But I think my pipe aim is A-OK. -okay. Like, I don't think I've played Demo Man in, like, a month or two. And I've just, just pretty much turned on TF2 here to do this. And it's going okay. We've got some nice pipes. We're doing a bit of lead shots. Admittedly, not the hardest targets, but... It's always a good sign when you get in and just immediately start getting some good frags. Could have been an air shot. I tried, I tried my best, alright? But anyway, yeah. We'll try and do just one life, because this has gone really, really well. I don't want to just do what I did on all these other videos and only use one loadout for the whole thing, despite the fact it's meant to be a, like a talk about series. It's kind of pointless if you only talk about one load. Scout, no, don't do it! <laughs> he got so scared of the bloody Demo Knight. I'm sorry, Medic. I wasted his Uber a bit. But yeah, here you go. Another downside of Demo Knight, of course. Because you don't have stickies. Normally you have like a pipe launcher or something. If you only have shoes, it's really bad, but unless you're in melee range or have four heads to be really, really fast, if a medic crits as you, you have like four shots, and I don't know about you, but if a medic crits as me, I said it before, but kind of lose my shit a little bit, and I'm like, oh god, I don't want to disappoint you, medic. Thank you for the wonderful gift that was a crit screen, but I'm sorry I've completely wasted it, but that always seems to happen. 
So yeah, that does happen sometimes. Sometimes you just have to give up and just melee stuff. And melee crits are amazing, obviously. Nearly 200 damage, one-shots nearly every class. Yeah, it's pretty good. I was hoping that's Scout Y. I thought he was about to do it a second time, but yeah. One thing I quite like doing with the Iron Bomber, as it is the weapon's intention, is to actually use it as a pseudo-sticky bomb launcher. That's basically the whole point of the Iron Bomber and Quickie Bomb Launcher, were to essentially be unlocks for the stickies and grenades that kind of did the other thing's job. I.e., this allows you to have stickies in the primary slot, kinda. And the quickies allow you to have pipes in the secondary slot, kinda. Again, kinda, but you get what I mean. And that was kind of the original intent, was to make it so that no matter your loadout, you could still play a decent demo man. And this just lets you aim nice and easy. A bit like a rocket launcher, like if you can't hit your pipes, just land on the floor like this. Roller will still do loads of damage. I forget the number, but it's it's definitely more than a stock, isn't it? Like the stock rollers don't do as much as the unbomber, do they? Thank you, boisterous friend. I didn't even bother trying to pronounce that. But yeah, look, like this. I'm not even aiming directly at the sentry. We're doing loads and loads and loads of damage. I'm going to wait for this critch, actually. Really hope this pirate doesn't murder me. If I do it over this edge, maybe he won't actually see it coming. Is that the case? Oh, hello. You see, I just I shut up for half a second there. So I could ensure that I could actually aim the air shot there, but quite nice. I, I love hitting air shots with the bloody grenade launcher. It's incredibly satisfying. A lot easier, I made show, to aim air shots on the grenade launcher than the rockets. Like, rockets, people are more likely to do more just because people probably play more Soldier MG, and that's mostly where you train air shots. But I feel like, just in general, if you just want to hop in and just get air shots, grenades are just a bit easier to do. The arcs, they just shoot faster. That's the real reason. They shoot faster, but yeah. That was a good first round as our team pushes it in. Sir Woolen bringing the win. So yeah, I think that was a really good showcase as to why this is my favourite Demo Man loadout by far. It's so strong, it gives you defence in the shield, gives you speed and health in the Islander, and the Iron Bomber is just a solid weapon. It, it, it functions as a primary and a secondary in one. We didn't show it off, but you can do cool grenade jumps with it. But anyway, we'll move on to another loadout now. This medic's probably like, oh boy, by, a boy to crits. So I apologise for this, but we're going to switch off. And we're going to try out a little bit of... I'm going to try full Demo Knight. I haven't played full Demo Knight in many, 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 many years. No, that's a lie. I don't really tend to play full Demo Knight, just full stop. And I can't wear the shoes with these shoes. I'm going to switch off my shoes to a... Um... Okay, I'm going to wear a beard. I'm just going to put a single... <laughs> I have to switch off my hats to put on these shoes, and that really upsets me. But that's perfectly fine. No, I don't want to switch teams. We're having fun. But yeah, this view model always annoys me a little bit with the splendid screen. Like, it takes up loads of the screen. I know lower view model FOV makes it look a bit better. But I just feel like now I'm just... My, my hands are, like, clawing my face. But I will give this a go. Like, I don't normally play on a low view model FOV. But I feel like maybe we do need a little gra a middle ground for this. Unless we want to go full, full prem demo man and do it like this. I, sh I just I would like it if I could just make the shield that like move a bit to the side. Like in Counter-Strike you can move the view models however you like. You can't do that in TF2 unfortunately. It's a command that exists but it's locked to SV cheats. But I mean this is probably the best middle ground we've got isn't it? Like we're, I mean that or we could just, rem we could just disable view models. Do you want to... Do you want to do that quickly? Let's just disable view models temporary. Look at this. We look so, we look weird like some MVM player at the end of the round when you're getting your rewards. None of their teams are leaving spawn. We can't really do much here with that being the case, but yeah. Normally you have view models on for the melees, of course, because there's a swing time and showing the view models kind of helps with timing, I always find. I don't like how we actually hit him there with the sound effect, but didn't get the kill. But I think we'll be fine, hopefully. If we can find a nice spy, like that scout, maybe. We have two scouts, so it might be a scout just going for the health pack. But yeah. We shouldn't have too much trouble without there being view models. Like, it is just one weapon. It's not like we have to worry about what we've got out. I would like it if their team would leave spawn so I have something to shoot. I'm a bit wary of the sniper as well. I haven't really got much to do there. Hello. Yeah, I see. I don't own that taunt, but I can do this if you like. Do you want to just go some more while their team's pushing the cart? Or do you want to rush off like men in arms? We'll slash this pyro together, maybe. Oh no, he owns a one right click. Of course, yes. The downside to all Demo Knights World Ride. One flamey boy with a puffy floof. That's what the noise is. But yeah, and our first death of the game, of course, to a pyro holding down his left click. Yeah, the, the, the counter to Demo Knight is literally just pyro. Like, it's really, really easy to do enough damage to just straight up kill him, unless he's using the charge and charge. And if you just right click, then the Demo Knight running full Demo Knight this is, like, without, without running the grenades, there's nothing you can do. Like, if, if he just has ammo and right clicks, you die. There's nothing you can do. You can't charge faster than he pushes you away. So that's a bit annoying, but... You're meant to counteract that by, like, thinking a bit and running against it. I'm gonna try a trimp here. I don't trimp very often, but... There you go. When I do, I <laughs> do a speedy, fast trimp immediately to the health pack. But he's gonna jump in and be weak for two seconds. Never mind. I was under the impression that 
that thing meant that you couldn't switch weapons for like two seconds, but maybe not. Maybe that's not the balance of that weapon. I guess you can just jump in and use this flamethrower. Okay. I thought the jetpack had a two second timer on it where you couldn't use your flamethrower. What was- I tried to use my brain there to like counteract the pyro, but he used his pyro brain to counteract my brain. And that worries me, but yeah. We'll try again, we'll try again. I'm not really that fond of the full demo night loadout. Obviously it's fun for just a bit of peeing around, but I feel like limiting yourself to melee only is not the best idea in the world. That is a first person shooter. But you can still run up to like boys and hit them like that and then charge away and then hope he doesn't turn around with his crits and kill you. No? Well, anyway, yeah. I'm also not very used to the new Persian Persuader. I thought this thing gave you HP when you picked up ammo packs, but I think it just refills charge now. Nice shot. And that confuses my small monkey brain, because I get really confused by these things. Whenever they change a weapon just even slightly like that, I don't know how to deal with it, because I'm so used to using something in an old way that I just don't know how to adapt to the new way. Invisible spy! Oh! I was calling it. I was like, um, is it going to happen? And it did happen, and it's wonderful. I've got to say, though, being able to pick up ammo is probably pretty nice. I don't know if it actually refills your primary. That was the whole downside of this loadout in the past. Let's wait here for him to come up. Go for the mini crit. Oh, dear. I want to counteract him by surfing slightly. I'm screaming at you loudly. And he, he did 60 damage in half a second on 3 HP. So, yeah, that was not great. I was hoping I could kill him there and not instantly die, but maybe we should just try and completely ignore pyros. Like, this isn't exactly the pyro loadout. This is meant to be, like, the high damage run around and smash people loadout. And we've just been using it to kill pyros, basically, which isn't the best idea. Although maybe they've just gone pyro to try and counteract all the demo night. There was a lot of it at this point. Instead, we're gonna use our brain, get a little, tiny bit of HP. Don't uber me. I'm- No, yavul means as in, like, don't yavul me. Don't also jump into the sniper sightline, please. I'm gonna kill the snipers as the spy class that we're playing. Well, that's scouters, maybe. I'm gonna go for a pick. Oh, medic down, oh. Oh no, one pyro. <laughs> I need to escape. I'm not even gonna bother fighting him. I feel like every time I've just made a mistake of trying to fight him and then he right clicks. But yeah, you know what we're doing? We're gonna go for the sneaky flank and play better spy. He's better than spy because he has way more HP and can run away and it still takes two shots from any angle, instead of one. Like, I feel like that's a pretty good trade-off. This medic's using the blute siren, that scares me, so we'll hide in our little nest, and then push out and go, oh, like a trapdoor spider, looking for someone to join him at his happy birthday party. They're such sweet creatures, but everyone always leaves them alone, because they're scary. Poor trapdoor spiders. They're trying their best. Let's have a little peek. Let's use third person to cheat. I see that there's a medic and a pyro, so using my cheaty third person tactics, I'm gonna wait, lie in wait like this, like this. Let's try it again, look, look, look this, boom. Do we see anyone in our cheaty third person? Yes, we do. We see a pyro that we're going to completely ignore because he scares me. And hope he doesn't come down here and air blast me. I seem to have forgotten how to air strafe, so if he comes back, I'm going to be a bit a bit dead. Oh, hello. Look, I'm yelling at you and going, whoa, like Demo Knight should. Look, there's another one. He's back for more. He's back for the original amount, not even more. Just just for the first, the first helping, even. Holy shit, he just went fucking zoom. I forgot this thing did, like, more damage on impact. Like, that was its thing, wasn't it, with this thing, was that you could impact from, like, every angle, and it was really, really good for bashing people, but it was really, really bad for something else. I forget. I forget all of the shields. They keep- Demo Knight- Demo Knight stuff, I just don't remember what they do with- anymore with the things, you know? They keep changing them, and... Again, my small monkey brain just cannot keep up. Of course we're playing TF2, so I'm gonna stand up here and hope none of them know how to turn around- you know how to turn around! My flawless- flawless plan was counteracted by one turny boy. I'm gonna yell at you and go, ah! He got very spooked. Do you see, there's there's boys on the cart. We're gonna yell at them and go, oh! Where's he gone? Come back here. Did we not kill you? He took almost no damage from that. I was under the impression he was gonna take like a billion- Oh yeah, do you know what it was? What you used to do was you used to- The moment you hit someone with a shield, the shield bash, your next thing would always be a crit. So people used to run around with his shield and get guaranteed crits with it all the time. And it was horrible to play against. I guess they changed that now, because now it's sometimes mini crits. Or something? Like, it's- the- the meter at the bottom tells you how much damage you're gonna do if it's normal melee mini crit or full crit. If- if they can, even can do full crits anymore? I don't know. Don't- go away, Pyro. Well, you know, that's fine. So again, yeah, I think- I think I've- I'm gonna give up now. I think I've shown why I don't really like full demo night. It can be kind of fun, but when it comes to a server full of Pyros, i.e. you're playing TF2 in 2018, it just doesn't really cut at all. And if you're playing Demon Knight against Pyro, that's fine, but you really want like a primary. So we're now gonna switch on and go for the Turny Boy with the Claymore. And I am gonna give myself some kind of grenade launcher, I think. 
Let's go for the loose cannon. I don't lose use the loose cannon. It doesn't even necessarily fit in with the loadout, but it looks actually it does. You know what? The loose cannon fits perfectly because it comes with it goes with the the charge and touch or the the turny the turny turny charge. You know the loadout. Yeah, I can't really aim these. I can't really aim these coconut guns if I haven't made it more abundantly clear at this point. I've just not used it at all. I never learned how to use it, and I don't, to be honest, think I ever will. There's other people who are amazing with it, and the electrics come up to me and one-shot me with a double donk. And that worries me greatly, because I feel like there's nothing I can do to stop them. But then the moment I try to use the weapon, I just have no idea what I'm doing. And also, they keep I'm going to say they keep changing it. They changed it once. It used to have a way longer charge on it, and it took like a million seconds to do anything with. And then they got rid of that, and that confused me. That was the one time I did use it was on release. However, it of course still has its great, great upside of having a billion knockback. So if there's a boy running in your face... No, he's somewhere else now. You're over there. No, you're, you're somewhere completely different now. I'm gonna prepare a shield bash and charge. Oh! Come here, scout. Melee, melee draw the demo knight. Or run away. That's fine, you wuss. Be gone. Pyro. There we go. We've beaten him the only way we know how. By smashing him with a very long sword. It's a very good thing, but yeah. I'm not very good with it, so I just like to spam things at what I feel like the max range should be. And normally it tends to knock people around. It's really, really good on bad water, by the way. It used to be the case that demo, demo men would run it on defense. Just because the angle that you'd normally use to hold on bad water meant that on the top right cliff, you could uh, always, always, always get the double donk off without having to actually aim. It was pretty strong. Some would say even broken, perhaps. Stop killing my friend. Don't, if you push me into the pit, I'm going to be very upset. He also picked up the HP. Go, go away. Let me let me go. I also get confused by the meters on my HUD, because I feel like I have a full charge, so I feel like I can run away, and it's actually just the bomb. They're pushing. We we need to... Hello? HP? 10 seconds on... Thank you. It takes 10 seconds for ammo and HP to spawn in this game. Oh, we're using the Tony Boy as well. I thought I was... I feel like I was waiting there for the whole 10 seconds. Maybe not. I really should learn how to aim this thing at some point. I don't know who to speak to about that, though. Stop. It's very good at countering pyros, apparently. It just knocks them, like, miles away. Why do we have no HP? Oh, yes. Pyro. <laughs> this is not- this is meant to be talking about Demo Knight, by the way. Not complaining about Pyro being too strong. But, yeah. Maybe I should be a bit more careful with it. Like, I shouldn't just run around corners charging it like it's the beggar's bazooka. I should be only charging it when there's people ahead. And then running away to safety. If the pyro comes down, I'm running away. Like, the whole- it is quite good, in a sense, I guess, against them, in that when you right-click, you get rid of afterburn, and that can be a good thing. It's not normally that big of a deal, but it can be helpful. Oh, look at this. A little bit of spam here. Can knock some people away. We even got a kill. Was that the pyro? Great. No, it wasn't. It was a different boy. Oh, I don't like that he stalled me into a corner, though. Not the biggest fan of that whole, like, I was moving and then I wasn't thing. So, I'm actually going to switch off of this. I tried using it. I can't use it. I'm crap. <laughs> I admit, I admit my human faults. I'm not very good with the Iron Bomber, and I also haven't used the Tourney Shield for anything at all. Nor the Sword. I don't understand the Claymore, they, they keep changing it. What, what does you do? It just makes you charge for longer, but it makes you take more damage. Well, that sounds like not very good at all. Didn't this used to give you 15 less HP? Is 15 damage vulnerability better than 15 less HP? Or worse? I feel like it's worse. Because it, it works with Overheal that way, instead of just being a flat health down. I'd much rather have the flat health down. I feel like this probably is not the best. What, what are you up to then, Medic? Look. Stop, Pyro. Look, I have an actual grenade launcher now. I can deal with you in my own special way. By aiming pipes madly and hoping they hit you. And then going, ah! Oh, there you go, yeah. And now we have to wait forever for our charge to come back. Yeah. I don't quite understand the point of the Claymore then. I know some people really liked it because it was like a meme weapon. And some people probably liked it in times a billion, whatever, because you had like an infinite charge. But I feel like when I'm normally playing Demo Knight, I'd way much- If I'm having like a non-random crit sword, I'd much rather have the Eyelander and get like max HP and speed than charge on it. What, what's going on here? What, what are you up to? Thanks, Medic. Don't worry, I'll protect you from the scout. I can aim pipes. Not the- not the other one. I can't aim the other one. They confuse me. Although saying that, just there, that probably allowed us to get the pyro. That's probably the range where that's quite- You're gonna stare at me. What- what gun is that? Stop. If- Oh yeah, I should mention this, but um, Dead Ringer Spies- their dead ringer being popped off charges the islander with heads. So if you really want to ch farm heads really quickly, hope the other spy for some reason is still running the dead ringer, and farm him over and over and over and over again for like two heads per spy, or let him pick up an ammo pack with the old one. Charge him over and over again. I'm so happy now I've got grenades, by the way. I'm pretty much at this point just using it as like a shotgun, and using the very, very weird resistance built into the shield to get around- Oh, it's an invisible spy. I love a little bit of spy checking with the shield. 
Never happens that often, but when you bump a spy, it always feels really weird. It's like you stubbed your toe, but on the French. Oh, no, they're pushing. Oh, they won. Well, that wasn't too bad. I'm going to end it there, though. I think we covered our, my three main Demo Man loadouts. My favourite one, which is just, you know, what I consider to be basically just the stock Demo Knight loadout and, like, the Islander. What? This is not Islander. Hello. Islander Charge and Bomber. Then I tried out the full Demo Knight loadout and found out that... Maybe it's not my favourite loadout. I'm sure your experience may differ. They can get quite strong, but to be honest, I'd rather have the Islander, so at least I've got a bit of bit of growth there, a bit of long prospects in my banking system. And then, you know, we ran around with some random crap. But yeah, I found it fun. I like Demo Knight. I think he's quite strong. I think it's a different class to Demo Man, and in terms of viability, he's different. It's a different class. Play actual Demo Man if you want to do Demo Man stuff, and play Demo Knight if you want to peer around with swords. Anyway, yeah, that'll be it for today. My throat's hurting and it's snowing outside, so I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.